welcome to Free Your Compass. Today I'd like to just talk about a, a topic that kind of ties in with you know, what I've been discussing so far. It has to do with the amount of effort and time that we put into our work as a parent and then you know the, the things that we don't tend to look at uh, as the negative side effects of that with our families. So the number one regret that tends to be held by any parent as a single parent or as a couple is the time that they didn't have with their children or the time that was lost or has sort of slipped away. This also ties into the time that you've had with your partner as well, but it's generally the one with the kids that hurt. As a parent, I know that we spend a large amount of our time trying to advance ourselves, trying to secure our family, uh, the financial security, putting food on the table. You know, all of these things really, they tend to overcome and um, dominate our thought processes. What happens is that we go to work, we realize that we need to provide for our family. It's, it's a, a, you know, there's a sense of um, obligation and worth that is tied into that. Like, who are we if we can't feed our family? This thing ends up getting caught up regularly with the advancement process. So if I'm struggling to provide for my family initially, so what I need to do is work harder. I have to work more, I have to progress and then uh, make more money so that then I can provide for my family better. And hopefully, you know, this whole idea that if I get to a certain point, then my family will be secure. I'll have the money that's required to be able to look after them. I'll give them a good firm financial you know, footing. I'll have set a great example, a good work ethic. You know, all of these things that essentially are very good things. You know, it's good to instill a good work ethic uh, to our children. This is this is important. You know, you know, as much as you may or may not like the idea of work, you know, it's a unfortunately it is a part of life. It is something that is essentially required to at least some degree. What happens though? The downside to this is that. As this process continues, as we put more time, more effort into our job or our career or our advancement, that takes away more and more time from our family. Now, in essence, in its more most raw principle, we are working so that we can survive and have a decent life. But that tends to flip and what winds up happening is that our life becomes a secondary element to the work. So much time is spent at work and focused on work and getting somewhere with work that it doesn't matter how much money is earned, there's no life involved with it. Now as a single person, this can actually be fantastic. It's perfect time to do it. If you want to advance and get a good career, get yourself financially set up as a single person, no kids, this is fantastic. It's the best time to do it. And by all means, go hell for leather at it because you know you can get that groundwork there. And provided you don't forget the reason why you're doing it and you don't lose life from it, then, you know, this can be a good thing. But having gone through it, both as a child and now as a parent, I grew up and the one thing that I promised myself was that I would never wind up in the situation that my dad was. You know, he worked his butt off. He spent huge amounts of time at work. I always viewed him as a workaholic. I know that there was a lot more to it than that. And, you know, in a lot of ways, he really needed to do what he did to support his family. But I wanted 
as a parent to ensure that what I did was that my work would cover things, but I would, I would be always be there for my family. My 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 children would always have that time with me. That didn't happen. I had the greatest of intentions. I spent huge amounts of time at work. I spent massive amounts of time trying to advance my family uh, to get them into a better state. I missed an enormous amount of my son's life. This is a very, very common scenario. And people will deal with it in different ways, ultimately. But I don't believe there is a single parent out there that once the child leaves home, doesn't look back and go, oh my God, what did I do? I have missed so much of my child's life. And they will desperately try to find some way of making that time back. And you can't. You can do the best you can with what is there and what is left. And you may be fortunate that your child doesn't look at you with negative feelings about it. But the fact of the matter is, if you miss your first steps, you've missed them. You miss the first word, you've missed it. You miss their first goal that you ever kick. You will never get that back. Now you spend more time with your family, you're not going to catch all of that anyway. But if you're spending all of your time at work, you're not going to catch any of it. Now the biggest problem ultimately then comes with, at the end, the goals that you basically put everything on the back burner for, did you achieve them? Have you done what so many of us are doing, working a job that you either hate or tolerate, that you struggle through so that you can achieve this? So that basically all of that time you've spent, you really didn't enjoy that much anyway? Looking back on it at the very end, realizing that you've missed everything, would you do the same thing all over again? Now, if the answer to that question is no, then why the hell are you doing it the first time around? You really need to ask yourself that question. And I genuinely hope and pray that this message can reach a few parents, fathers or mothers. And it's usually the father, as a general rule, that misses out the most. Because the mother, fortunately, with the way the society is put together, will usually get the early part of their child's life. More commonly, not always. I really hope that this message can reach a few of you and that you can reassess things a little and realize that there is nothing, nothing in the world that will ever make up for missing out on your child's childhood. You can be a multi-quadrillionaire with everything you ever dreamed for in a financial and assets way, and you will never, ever, ever get your child's life back. It's gone. It's past. The time has moved on. Now, I'm not saying don't chase down your career. I'm not saying don't spend extra time at work. I'm not saying don't fight for that financial security. All of these are noble goals. But what I am saying is Look at what you are doing. Assess it. 
and work out what you can do to make sure that 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 you are chasing does not sacrifice your family life. Because remember, you're not working because, well, working's cool. You're working to provide for your family. And what the hell is the point in providing for them if you're never there? And this is one of the biggest regrets that I have in my life. And I know, and I've spoken to a lot of parents, and I know that that is the biggest regret in a lot of their lives. And a lot of them will look at their kids, and a lot of them will look at their friends, and they'll think, God, please don't make the same mistake. Even if they outwardly encourage them. It's like gambling on lotto. Yeah. Imagine the idea, like imagine for a moment, just think to yourself, okay, I'm going to go away from my family and I will not see them until I win lotto. Would you do that? Really, would you do that? It's insane, isn't it? Because the odds of winning lotto are really like astronomical. But so many of us do that for the job that we hope is going to take us to the astronomical heights that winning lotto would give us. How insane is that, really? Why do we give up our entire lives for our work? Why? Like, it's insane. Yes, we're trapped in a society to a very large degree that gives us very little choice in that matter, that we have to do that to a degree. But we get pushed by friends, family, and our bosses, a company that we work for. We get pushed by society as a whole that this is a requirement. You really got to do it. You got to push yourself harder. Now, all of this ties into a whole nother tale of how we're killing ourselves doing it as well. But right now, I just want you to focus on the family you are giving up while you're doing it. There's no easy solution to this. It's no simplistic answer. You know. But it can be solved. Achieve a life work balance. Work life balance is is a lie in itself. We say work life balance with work first. Like what the heck is that all about? Why would you put work first? Life is what it's about. It's a life work balance. The work is there so you can have a life. Your life doesn't exist for you to work. Find a way to bring more joy and happiness into your work. Find something that you can do that you actually enjoy, that you like. Find a way to do it in a time frame and a manner that you still get plenty of time to spend with your family. Because if you're not spending it with your family, you are wasting your life. Now, I'm not saying that every single uh, venture that you take to try to bring yourself ahead is going to collapse and fail. But what happens if it does? Do you just give it all up for nothing? And let's be real here. The motivational industry and all the rest of them are going to tell you, oh, if you put it all in, you're going to make it. Oh, the people who succeed are the people that don't give up. That is true to a degree. But what they don't sort of bother letting you know that at the same time, the percentage that actually get all of those dreams successfully is very small. It is like playing lotto. 
your odds of getting that amazing result are extremely low. And I'm not in any way saying don't chase it because damn, it's a good reason to go for it because there is some awesome results that you can get. And if it gives you the fulfillment, if it's what you really want and it makes you complete and full within, then absolutely do it. But if you're just doing it for the money and the financial, you are not going to get there. And you are going to waste your life and you will miss your child's childhood. Do not for any amount of money, for anything, do that. You will never get it back. Ranted a little bit on that one, but I just hope that there are some parents out there that listen to this with young kids who haven't basically given it all up too much and can actually find some way to bring it back so that they can spend more time with their family, spend a bit more time with their kids. Because having gone through it, I would give anything anything to change those choices and stupidly enough I'd probably be better off financially right now as well if I just stuck and done a normal job so hopefully that's helped hopefully that's shed a bit of light on things for you Hopefully you really take something out of this. Thanks very much for listening. I'll catch you in the next one.